Hi, I'm Hannah. Thanks for watching. Okay, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met, I'm Hannah. I am a knitter and mom and a YouTube knitter um, and I share my projects here. So like I said, project update today, that'll be finished objects, work in progress, acquisitions. Um, I am wearing <laughs> my very special finished object today. This is the Skyline Tee by Tori uh, Yu of Tori Knits NYC. And today is the launch, so I will show you. This is like the <laughs> highlight, I think, kind of of the pattern. Um, and then, yeah, I just, I really like it. It's finished, it's blocked. Um, I wore it out today for the first time to celebrate the launch. I went to the farmer's market and um, then walked around with a friend and we ran into a pop-up by Knitworthy Yarns, which was so random um, that we happened to be there. And so we walked in there, talked to them. It was lovely to meet them. Um, and then we went and got a coffee. It was just a wonderful morning and it's quite sunny. The sun just kind of came through. So got some natural light for you today. But anyway, this is my Skyline tea. I'm really, really, really happy with it. I think like this neckline to me is perfect. It's perfect in the back too. If you can see where I, where it hits. Um, sleeves are perfect. It's not tight here because I don't like that at all. <laughs> but it's also not baggy, um, which is really, really nice to have for the summer. I love this sleeve length. Um, I, as you can see, I have fair skin and so it burns really easily. And I love having this covered in the summer because I just get all the sunburn, all the freckles. So this to me is perfect. Um, yeah, I just love it. Only one thing I would change. Um, I think it's in the schematic. It gives you the exact length. So I knit it to pattern. Um, of course, Tori said we could, you know, knit it longer or shorter, or whatever, but I was trying to stay with the integrity of the pattern. And I would say it's a little short for what I was hoping for. Normal Hannah likes things like high hip waist so this would be perfect but I think when I was making this I was looking for something that was a little longer um I wanted it to be like full length I guess um and so I might go back and add more length I need to wear it a few times and kind of see how I'm feeling but because it's on the like more fitted side here like it has less ease I was hoping for longer versus like like usually I like boxy and cropped versus less ease and cropped and so I was hoping for less ease and full length um and so I might go back I mean you can see where it hits these are like high-waisted pants and my hip is like here so it hits like hip I don't know I think I might add length but again that's like a me thing not a her thing you can see how long it is in the pattern um and you know make it however long you want it to be I should measure it against like a shirt that I was going for for that length that's what I would recommend <laughs> if I could go back, but I did not do that. I have plenty of yarn left and the ribbing is only like an inch and a half. So I could either rip it out or cut it and graft it. I might rip it out. I don't know. I've done the cutting and grafting a few times. It was not that difficult, but <laughs> because it's fingering weight, there will be a lot more stitches to graft. And so I'm wondering if it would almost just be faster to just rip it back, knit it like reblock it and everything. I don't know. I'll let you know if I change it. I'm really happy with it. Um, I had on, I don't think it's down here. I had on a like double gauze shirt over this because it's still a little chilly and it's quite windy today um, here, but I really wanted to wear the shirt because I was excited. So the yarn I used was Pearl Soho Sweetgrass. Um, I used one and a half. If I made it longer, I think I would have used like one and three quarters. But um, in my head, this was like a super budget friendly project. If you go on the website, you can see like how much it costs for one of these. It has like over 400 yards per like skein or whatever. And so I did have to go up a needle size to meet gauge. And I also went up a needle size like for this. Again, super happy with it. Really happy with the yarn. It's a alpaca cotton blend. I have used it before for a sweater that I wear all the time in the summer. So yeah, I just, you know, you just like get a win and you're like, yes, I just, I needed that win in my knitting practice. 
like obviously like I said I could add more length but I'm not super disappointed because again I have like a bunch of pants that I will go with um it was just I was like oh I thought this one was gonna be longer but that's fine like I think when I look at Tori's pictures I'm like okay I can see like I think she's wearing higher pants the length thing totally on me um I'm not like unhappy with it I think I might just go back and change it because I do have more yarn um but I was just thinking, where is the yarn I have? Because um, I have a life update. This might be the last podcast from this spot in my kitchen slash living room slash dining room <laughs> um, because we're moving, um, which is really exciting. We're moving next week. And so usually I film like the end of the week, but that's when we'll be moving all our stuff in and yeah, we're not going too far. We're just gonna be like 15 minutes from where we are now. So um, hopefully that will make moving a little easier. <laughs> um, my husband and I have never moved before. We moved in here and that was like six years ago and now we are moving out of here to a much bigger house. Not much bigger, but it's bigger. It has another bedroom and um, like a dedicated playroom. Very excited about that for Ollie. Um, and a backyard with a fence which is gonna be awesome and a little screen and porch. So anyway, we're excited. We need to get there <laughs> and get everything unpacked and moved and all that. But um, yeah, the house is like a little bit emptier than it has been in the past um, because yeah, we're moving. Um, so I don't know if there'll be a video next week or if what my new setup will look like. But um, since my yarn is all packed up in bins, Maybe if you guys want to see like a, not an unboxing, but like reorganizing um, or putting my yarn out or something, maybe I'll do some kind of video like that. It's been a while since I've shared like what yarns I have or what are my favorite yarns or whatever. And when I was packing it all up, I just kind of threw it all together. Um, but when I unpack it and find a spot for it, I think it will be nice to look through, see what I want. I might even have some for a de-stash because um, I think just trying to, have less things around and I don't know we'll see um I need to go through it but I don't think I have the yarn for this I think I packed it up already because I was like that's done put it away <laughs> um so maybe I'll fix it in a while um when we unpack so that was a little life update um and I'll let you know how how moving goes and we'll have a new spot to record I'm mostly looking forward to it. We're so grateful for it. It just, everything has worked out so far really well. Um, Ollie loves it. He got to come with us to see it a few times. And um, yeah, I'm really hopeful that it will be a good spot for us. And yeah, we just have to like get over the moving <laughs> and get settled. And I think, yeah, I think it'll be really special. So anyway, that is my life update. Um, moving on. <laughs> to the knitting which is what you came for um okay I have another finished object I finished my Harlow sweater v-neck um this I have been working on for quite some time and I think I shared in one of the last videos that I needed to order more yarn because I ran out of the this yarn which is knitting for all of heavy merino and I Again, with this one, I wanted it to be longer, and so I didn't want to give up the like length for just like having enough yarn. Um, so I ordered more yarn, I ordered two more balls, and I really didn't need that much because I have this much left, <laughs> which is probably like three quarters of a knitting for all of Marino. So it's not that much, it's like, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards, but, um, and I have this much of my Surrey, which is Woolberry Fiberco Berry Surrey October is the colorway. And um, this one had a lot more blue in it. None of the others had blue. Um, and then this, so I was really, really hoping to make this long enough so that like I didn't have any yarn left was my goal because I don't know what to do with like this much Surrey. Um, but obviously I'm gonna save it because it's beautiful and I love it. And I'm gonna save this too. Maybe a future color work project, I will need a bit like a Sawyer's quantity of a different color and use this as my contrast. I have like this much left in pink as well. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, that's why I save everything because I just feel like I don't know. I don't know what it could be. I wish it was enough for a hat because I think that would be so pretty, but 
I don't think that's enough for a hat, even super bulky. Um, okay, to the sweater. This is it. I have not blocked the ribbing. So what I used the yarn for was like this half of the ribbing and then all of the back of the ribbing. So let me just stand up. This is what it looks like. Um, and yeah, so I need to, it's quite oversized. That's how the pattern is. Um, but I need to block this so it will be like a panel and not pull in. But yeah, I am really, really excited about it. I shared a while ago that my um, calm down sweater test knit kind of turned me into a v-neck girl. But I think wearing a crew neck underneath like this will be perfect for me because I don't, I don't know, I'm not a super v-neck girl, but I like it with the shirt underneath. I love that look. So anyway, this is done. I need to block the ribbing. I probably won't share it again though because I've shared it so many times, but I don't have a picture of it on my Instagram. Um, and so I need to do that because it's just so gorgeous. I need to weave in ends. Yeah, what mods? Oh, I did do a mod with the ribbing. I shared before that I used the same needle size for the body that I used for this um, because I wanted it to be like straight versus like this, pulling inward, um, more tunicky. That's what I was going for. So I did that and then I also knit it significantly longer. Um, so this is about like eight and a half inches. I think it'll block to like nine inches. The pattern calls for five, I believe. So I just, I was kind of inspired by the um, EUN sweater. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I'll put a picture up of it. I haven't made it before, but people love it. Um, it just, the size range is really, really small. Um, but anyway, I really like the long hem. And so that's what I was going for with this when I found out that like, okay, I ordered two. <laughs> I'm gonna have more than enough. Um, I was like, well, I'm gonna use more. I'm gonna make this really long and see how it looks. So if I don't like it, I'll just rip it back. It's not a big deal. It honestly didn't take that long because I was using US 8 needles for two by two ribbing. <laughs> it was very quick. Um, so anyway, that is my plan for this. And that's kind of what I was wanting it to look like, even though it has the V-neck. Um, I wanted the ribbing to look more like that. So I am really happy with it. This is my first sweater made out of hand dyed yarn. Um, this, even though I held it with the um, knitting for all of them, I'm still counting it. So this is my first hand dyed yarn, hand knit sweater. Um, and so it feels extra special. I love the October colorway. It's just so beautiful, um, held with the marzipan color. I just, I love it. It's a soft light pink. I don't know, it looks more graphic, but it's much more modeled um, in person. Like the, it's not as like, I don't know, I'm trying to, it's not like blocky. It's much more subtle in person. Um, but yeah, I really love it. I can't wait to wear it. I'm probably gonna put it like straight away into a zipped bag or a bin because it is about to get really hot here. <laughs> um, next week is supposed to be like mid to high 80s Fahrenheit. So I will not need this sweater. I may not even need this sweater. <laughs> um, although I'll still probably wear this sweater because why not? But anyway, so I, I probably won't touch this until like October, which would be perfect for this, right? Um, but regardless, it was one thing I really, really wanted to make was this big oversized V-neck sweater. I cannot wait to wear it in the fall. Um, okay, after I block it and weave in the ends. <laughs> but I'm not really in a hurry, I guess, because I guess I should do it before we move though, so I can just go ahead and put it away. Um, okay. Now I have works in progress. I have two socks today for my works in progress. This is the first one. Wow, it's coming across quite gold. It is a little more pale in person, um, just to, you know, talk about the color and whatnot. But I mean, I like the gold, but yeah, it's definitely more pale, like sunflower yellow in person. These are the hibernal socks by Summerly Knits and a um, viewer very kindly gifted them to me off my Ravelry wish list. So thank you so much. Um, that was so kind. <laughs> I really, I tried something new. I made a Ravelry wish list for my spring and summer knits 
and um, yeah, two people purchased patterns and sent them over to me, which was just so kind as a way to say, I like what you're doing, keep it up. And it was wonderful. So I had this pattern and when I finished this, I was ready to cast on. This took me like no time to knit in the world of knitting. I mean, it still took probably like, I don't know, six hours or something, but um, it was so quick. My husband was like, oh, you're making a sock? And he was like, oh, your sock is done? <laughs> um, it was super quick. And the little um, cable lace, I think it's lace. It looks like a faux cable, but it's lace, um, is super intuitive. I saw how it was written. It's only written out. I don't think it's charted. And I was like, I'm going to have to stay really, really focused on that. But she leaves a note and says, like someone leaves a note and says, this is really intuitive. You don't have to keep this in front of you the whole time. I promise. Like, you know, something to that extent. I was like, okay. And 100% true. It was so like, I did it once and I didn't have to look at the notes again to do the whole rest of the sock. So um, yeah, I knit the size two, which is like technically a medium, I think. And I, I shortened it. So I think this was like five and a half and the pattern calls for seven and a half. So I shortened it by two inches because I wanted to make sure I had enough yarn. <laughs> um, I also like this height where it hits like on my leg. Um, so yes, we will see. It's not quite dry or else I would try it on. Um, but yeah, no other mods. It's wonderful. I really liked making it. It was super easy. <laughs> it was a great project to me to just like have, it was just what I was hoping for. After knitting, fingering weight tea, um, working on some designs right now, having just like this project was wonderful. Um, I was a little concerned about second sock syndrome. So that's where you like drag your feet no pun intended. <laughs> um, you're slow to cast on your second sock because you finished one and you're like, oh, it's so great. And you're like, oh, I don't want to start the next one. So I read, besides doing socks two at a time, which I have done, it was okay. Um, besides doing that, the best way is as soon as you finish this first sock, before you even block it, you cast on the next one. And so I have done that. I started the second sock. <laughs> Um, and I've just done the ribbing. This was what I had left from this first one. So, and I have the second, second ball. This is Santa Scarn Perfect and it doesn't have the color. I've almost completed the ribbing for the second sock and then I will start all this fun. <laughs> the rest of it, um, really, it was so quick in terms of, again, knitting, but, um, yeah, I love the pattern. Highly recommend it. It was intuitive. It looks beautiful, but it was not super difficult at all. Um, yeah, I like working with this yarn. Um, I haven't used it for myself before. It's 80% wool, 20% nylon, DK weight sock yarn. And I'm using US three needles, which is the recommended needles. I'm doing magic loop. That is my preferred um, way to knit socks. I have tried the really, really short ones. I like that as well, but I think I prefer magic loop. I do not prefer double pointed needles, but I think I like magic loop best. So anyway, I'm sure I'll have two socks by the next time I talk to you, if I don't cast on another like big project or something. Um, but yeah, that was just a very gratifying, enjoyable project for me. I think the yellow gold color will be nice for the summer, just some bright, and it kind of looks like goldenrod, which blooms here like July, August. So. Yes. Um, okay. The next one is also a sock. And I said I didn't like using double pointed needles. And here I am using US1 to a 2.25 millimeters. And yeah, this is some sock yarn from my yarn pantry. I don't know what it is. I purchased it a really, really, really long time ago, like maybe four or five years ago. And Look at this sock, you guys. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. It's having trouble focusing on it. Oh, there we go. That's easier. Um, this is the, oh gosh, I think it's called like Perfect Newborn Socks. Um, <laughs> so cute with a folded cuff. It looks like just a person, like a big person sock, but 
absolutely tiny. I don't know, I haven't blocked it yet, but I'm like, are newbie, newborn feet really this small? I didn't make anything for Ollie this small. I made him a baby hat for when he was in the hospital um, and that fit him for like two weeks. And then <laughs> he outgrew it. And sometimes he'll find it and be like, is this for my stuffed animal mom? What is this? Um, so anyway, this is like newborn, newborn, I guess, size. Um, but yeah, I made it and I was like, wow, that is really small. And this also took me like just an evening of knitting. So maybe like two hours um, to make, but it's so cute. <laughs> this is for a um, little girl that is going to be in our family in the end of summer. Um, and so I'm making her some little socks. Yeah, but I, I'm gonna block them. Obviously I don't have, um, <laughs> sock blockers this size um but I think I'll just like stretch it out maybe a little bit um and it, maybe it'll grow a little bit too I know like they're not intended like, in the pattern it says they're not intended to like fit for a super long time but it said it, they could fit for like up to three months so we will see um if that works if that's true and then for the pattern it's I think it's perfect newborn sock and I can't remember the designer I will say I haven't contacted the designer about it. It's a very old pattern. It's a free pattern. Um, but I, I, maybe I'll leave a comment on Ravelry, but I found a few things that I felt like weren't totally clear. It's also branded sort of towards beginners, especially because it is for a baby and a lot of people kind of start with those sort of knits. And I found a few things again that I was like, don't think this is quite clear with the wording since I've knit socks before it was fine to me but um I don't know how do you guys handle that when you find it? it's not necessarily a mistake like the numbers are okay but I will, I'll just go ahead and explain it so if you have knit socks before um you know you do the little this has a classic like heel heel turn and um she doesn't say to knit across and then pick up the stitches for the gusset. And so you're left on the wrong side. And so then if you follow the directions and pick up stitches, you will then have to knit the sock like inside out. <laughs> um, so in my head, I was like, well, I'm not knitting this inside out. Of course I knit back across the heel flap and then around the foot, but it doesn't say that. And so I don't know, I think I'll just leave a comment maybe um, or reach out to her, but it is fairly old. So I'm wondering, I don't even know if she's still putting out patterns um, I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, it was very cute. There's a cabled one too. I think I'm just going to make the ribbed because I like the ribbed. I feel like these are just like a classic. I should have made a different color so they could be passed on. Um, but the pink is really cute and I've had this for a really long time and it's so soft. Um, okay. Anyway, let's see what else I have. Ooh, I just saw these two together. Is that enough for a hat? I don't think this is enough for a hat. Um, okay, the last thing I have is a work in progress and it is my design I'm working on. <laughs> I'm redoing the neckline, that's why it looks like this, but like, uh, so cute. The lighting is making it again, more gold. It's a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, this is my Micah's Raglan tee and is a pattern I'm working on and it's going to be ready for testing next week. So if you want to test, definitely sign up for my newsletter. Um, sometimes they fill up from the newsletter. Usually I still need a few like of the biggest sizes and I ask for those on Instagram because they're just like a little bit harder to fill. Um, but a lot of the popular sizes like two year, four year, six year, those fill up from the newsletter. So if you're interested, please sign up. I don't want um, you to miss it, <laughs> but it'll go out a day early to the newsletter subscribers. And then I try and honor like the time timing of it. Um, and then also get a good mix of people who've tested it for me before people who are new. Um, so anyway, all that to say next week, <laughs> this will be coming for testing. Um, it's with my tech editor right now. She just sent it back. So I have to do revisions today, but it has these little cables and I just like love the little short sleeve. I just think that's the cutest thing. So, um, yeah, it uses fingering weight yarn and I'm using a Knit Picks yarn. <laughs> it's their Knit Picks sock yarn. Um, and so yeah, I have to finish the neck. I didn't 
it was like a little tight. So I'm going to take it out um, and re redo that. But anyway, it's very cute. <laughs> um, it's very tiny. I just knit the smallest size because I usually do like two samples, one for my son and then one in the smallest size. And so this one went super quickly. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for my son. If I'm going to make him one, I don't really have any yarn right now that really looks like him in this weight. Um, so meaning I don't have a light blue <laughs> because that is what he would want, I'm sure. Um, but anyway, I actually don't have any acquisitions today. Um, if you have acquisitions, let me know. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't have any this week. Um, anyway, I hope you have a lovely weekend and happy knitting.